Paul Otto on 25 News, your home team. Now, from your home team, this is 25 News. Much of the day was humid, but that followed the rain this morning and now a beautiful evening. Thanks for joining us on Tuesday. I'm Tyler Lopez. The chief is tracking what is next for us. Chuck. All right, Tyler. Yeah, we got a break this afternoon. Most of the uh, severe thunderstorm activity uh, uh, started forming east of Interstate 55 here this afternoon. Ends up in Indiana and Michigan. In fact, there are two tornadoes on the ground south of Kalamazoo. Otherwise, we're high, dry, and quiet. We have a, a couple of residual shell, uh, cells, that is, uh, popping up in western Illinois, and uh, those are just a couple of rogue uh, thunderstorms and nothing severe there. Otherwise, our weather will be quiet tonight and tomorrow. Live look from the OSF campus cam. Uh, looks like we have a delay. Eastbound I-74, accident on the Murray Baker Bridge, we're told, so traffic is backed up there. But a delightful afternoon and evening it's turned out to be. 78 in Peoria, 75 right now in Bloomington Normal, 76 in Pontiac, and uh, 78 now in uh, Canton. And a severe weather threat uh, will return tomorrow afternoon, but once again it's a level one, the uh, minimum as we see the chance for an isolated strong to severe cell, but that's not until after 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Uh, tornado threat is low. The main tornado outbreak will be to the south of our area in southern Illinois tomorrow afternoon. Uh, could see a pocket through of large hail and some damaging w winds, but once again, that is tomorrow afternoon, not this afternoon. Rainfall chances uh, will be scattered tomorrow. Then we'll see a few residual showers on the backside of this system with a 40% chance coming our way Thursday. We're dry Friday and most of Mother's Day weekend coming up. I'll have all the forecast details coming away in just a couple of minutes. Tyler. Chuck, the National Weather Service says three tornadoes touched down in the St. Louis area early this morning, one of them destroying a tavern in Sullivan, Missouri. Alex Gall shows us that damage. Denise. And on the news side at 530, adult film actor Stormy Daniels takes the stand in former President Donald Trump's hush money trial. Experts across the country gathering in central Illinois to shine a light on childhood trauma. And Ferrero's now completed chocolate factory expansion could be something sweet for the Twin Cities. Those stories and more on your news at 530. Tonight, the riveting testimony in Donald Trump's hush money trial as the jury hears from a star witness at the center of the case, Stormy Daniels, the adult.